Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 of how to make a browser game for dummies. So last time we worked on adding uh, a database connection to our code. So now uh, we have uh, the ability to create a connection, check if the connection works. But now uh, I also want to start working on how to get data from the database. And in this particular case I want to get the name, the separator and the description from the database and the maintenance value so that we can put that into the configuration file. So um, last time um, we made this little if statement to check if there's any error. And if there's no error, so if the uh, code is executed to this part, the, uh, the string connected successfully will be displayed. So if you go to the page, that will work just fine. Um, so, but this time I want to add a little else statement, else, and put the brackets uh, on a new line. So if there's no error, echo connected successfully. If we execute this, it will work fine. So in here, uh, we add a comment. If connection is good, get data from database. The comments are just to uh, um, to make it more uh, to make it more uh, obvious what the code is for. It's just very helpful uh, uh, to find parts uh, of the code. So first, we need to uh, write a query, um, an SQL query that um, basically selects the the values that you want to get. In this case, we can uh, write it like this: just dollar query. So basically, make a variable is equal to uh, a, str a string which is the query so select in this case name separator description maintenance from uh, configuration and put it in between the, the quotation marks and the semicolon so in this variable you basically put a string uh, which is the query so if you look at the database, you will see that if you <coughs> would like literally uh, execute this query by yourself, you would select the name, the separator, the description, and the maintenance values from the configuration table. <coughs> so now we need to execute this query. You can do this by typing a dollar result. So basically make a variable is equal to MySQL underscore query, uh, parenthesis open and close, semicolon. And the function MySQL query always needs two uh, parameters. Uh, the first is the connection, and the second is the query that you want to execute. So first the connection, dollar con, and then you put a comma, and at the second parameter, which is the query. Oh, oops, okay, so. Basically what you do here is execute the query uh, with this connection and then put the result into result. And the connection is uh, of course the one that we created above. So now if we press on space and add a new line, we can get the row uh, by typing dollar $row. So create a new variable is equal to mysqe fetch underscore associate and then parentheses open parentheses close semicolon and in here you put the result so basically you are fetching the results using the connection using the query and uh, you can do this for each row so for example uh, this is your code you can now uh, get the, the 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 columns from the database and assign them to, to variables. For example, name is uh, dollar row uh, brackets and then a semicolon. Uh, put single mar uh, quotation marks here and then the the column name. So for example, name. So this is how you would get uh, a column using this variable from the database and assign it to a variable. So as you can see here, uh, you use the column name, oops, uh, the column name 
in here. So if you would execute this, it should not throw any errors. It does. Expects parameter one to be a MySQL my result, Boolean given. Okay, let's see. Parameter one, so the connection is not okay. Database server, database username, database password. And I think I know why. It should work like this. Server, root, username, password, database. Let's execute this. And it works. So now, or well, let's double check that it does. Uh, one second, I clicked off screen. Okay, so if there's no error, it does this. So let's echo name. So let's echo the variable that we just assigned from the database right here. And it says MMORTS. So what you just did is get a value from the database and put it into the code. So it's important to know that you need four uh, parameters here. You need the server that your database is on. You need a username to connect, a password to connect, but also a database that you want to select. In this case, the database is MMORTS. The table that you want to get is configuration and you want the following values from the table. And you can get those specific values by telling it to assign the rows column to a variable. And then you can do calculations with it or echo it or whatever you want. It's very simple. So, Let's use this uh, to assign the uh, general settings. So general settings, uh, we can copy these over. Um, just uh, cut these from the code. Remove the excess spaces. Add some uh, sp uh, spacing from the left. And then instead of assigning it to dollar name, just to remove this, assign uh, name from the database to the title so highlight this and then paste it over and then separator is of course uh, separator without the dollar and then description is description just make sure that the uh, the names that you use are the same as the database columns so name separator description it's all good now we also need the technical settings let's see so let's type this one ourselves dollar row brackets uh, quotation marks maintenance single quotes uh, are these so now you've basically assigned these variables um, from the database. Now, if you go to the site, it should still work. And as you can see in the title, it still says MMO uh, middle score, my awesome browser game, which is received uh, or uh, fetched from the database. If we change this in the database to let's say, oh my, it works. And then press enter, but make sure to click off the row to make an update. As you can see, it executed the SQL uh, now. If you don't do this and type something like this, click off and it will update. If you don't do this, but only press enter, it won't update. So don't think it's broken, it's still okay. Just make sure to make it update. So, oh my, it works. And then press enter, click off and it will update. Go to the site, look at the title. Oh my, it works. So the data is successfully fetched uh, from the database. So, next time I want to talk about um, setting up a <coughs> paging system to support a large amount of uh, pages. For example, you have login pages, registration pages, my account pages, uh, terms of use, FAQ pages, etc. etc. Uh, you need a paging system to include the right 
content for each page. So next part, part four, we will start working on that. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.